Squeaking and echolocating, some 28 different species of bats are ravenously making their way across Arizona's night skies. So this bat can actually take off from the ground and eat scorpions and millipedes. Tangled in a net of mystery, bats have a bad reputation for spreading disease, but researchers say they provide many benefits, such as fertilizing the forest with their guano and keeping insect populations in check. One little brown bat can eat about 600 mosquitoes in, in an hour. While there's no shortage of food for these bats, wildlife biologists are working to shed some light on the shortage of standing dead trees, where many like to roost. We have a lot of trees, uh, but you don't often see a lot of dead trees, and when you do, they're not usually very large dead trees. And the bats that we've been studying use trees that are 25 or 30 inches in diameter. So while the Ponderosa Pine Forest is currently crowded with young trees, forest researchers like NAU forestry grad student Liz Maring are offering an alternative in bat housing, such as wedged boxes attached to tree trunks, mimicking the qualities of standing big dead trees. A lot of bats roost in exfoliating bark, and so bark that's loose from the tree. And so this looks like a piece of exfoliating bark. The Forest Service purchased these. They're made out of resin. That's the same material that you find in boats. So they're durable, lasting as long as the bats do, about 30 years in the woods. And because they look so much like the bark of a ponderosa pine tree, they're fooling both the bats and their predators. We've gotten a lot of use based on single bats, so mostly non-reproductive single bats that have been using them. And what we're hoping is that in a few more years, we'll get more use as more bats find them and they remember them. If bats begin to use these artificial roosts for maternity colonies, researchers say they'll have the answer to adequate bat habitat in the bag. For NAZ Today, I'm Bonnie Stevens.